feeling of winning the World Series, I'm, I'm not sure I'll ever be able to top that. Tom Ricketts, chairman of the Chicago Cubs. Tom previously worked as CEO of an investment firm he co-founded called In Capital. Tom was introduced as chairman of the Cubs in 2009, where he helped bring them a World Series in epic fashion in 2016, ending a 108-year drought and has transformed the north side of Chicago. I am Tom Ricketts, chairman of the Chicago Cubs. I think my leadership style is, uh, you know, help set the goals, you know, kind of, you know, give the direction and then uh, let people do their jobs. Well, I mean, the difference between running a, a traditional company and a sports franchise is just the profile. I mean, a lot of the basic stuff about like how you treat people and how you incent people and how you create goals, a lot of that stuff is, is very similar. but. When you do it with the, with the Cubs or another sports organization, it's so high profile. You wanna make sure you get everything right. You make sure you do everything the right way because not only um, do you have millions of people counting on you for a great summer or a great year, but, um, but everybody's watching and it's, it's all just well reported. And um, so you just wanna be very careful because it's such a high profile organization. With baseball, it's not the same with every sport, but the baseball, the number one revenue line is the uh, is tickets. So, uh, and, you know, getting people to the park. And that's, that's the most critical thing we do is get people into the ballpark and give them a great experience. I mean, I feel like in, in NFL, it's a great TV sport. NBA is a great superstar sport. But baseball, the most important thing about baseball and how a fan feels about their ball club is how they feel when they walk into, into the ballpark. And um, so it's our number one priority is making sure it's a great day at Wrigley Field. We do have a lot of great awards. We have an SB for, uh, you know, for Sports Moment of the Year. We've won a Sports Business Journal on a, on, on a bunch of different things, but um, we're really proud of our Emmys. Um, we've, uh, we've come a long way, like, you know, we're producing, our own original content has been uh, something we've actually become pretty good at. So that will be really helpful as we uh, launch our, our network this year. I think the most difficult part about uh, running the franchise is, um, I mean, you just, you always have to be getting better. Like it's, it's uh, something we've learned, like you just have to always be improving. Um, you have to be, uh, it's, a, it's a very, very competitive industry and you can never stop. Best thing about being the chairman of the Cubs is game day. When it's a beautiful day in June and I get to walk around and talk to fans and, and watch baseball and just be part of what I think is the most special and magical experience in all of sports. Well, my number one love, of course, is the Cubs, but uh, my, my first love is the Nebraska Huskers. So uh, if, if I could own the Huskers, that would be the most amazing thing because that's, that's just the first place to start. But uh, professionally, professional sports-wise, you know, it's, um, I really can't name one. I mean, this is such a special relationship that my family and I have with this team that um, I'm not sure there's another one that, that is on that level. There's a, a, global, a global sports foundation called the Laureus Foundation. It was started by uh, Nelson Mandela. And he worked with um, a man named Rupert at uh, Richemont, which is a luxury brand, uh, brand uh, conglomerate. And uh, they do a global sports award every year. And um, we were the first American team ever to win global sports team of the year. And the award ceremony was in Monaco and it's, it's broadcast all over the world. It, it, it was pretty cool. I got, Michael Phelps gave me that. Usain Bolt was at, you know, there. It was just incredible, everybody yeah. there. I have a dozen baseballs printed. It'll say March 30, Cubs versus Brewers, you know, uh, and then I just go hand them out in the crowd. Try to find a kid, you know, try to find a kid. You find a birthday, that's an extra plus, or a first game, that's an extra plus. You know, find kids from, we, feel, we have a lot of people at Wrigley from out of, out of the state, out of the country. If you can find someone like that to give a baseball to, it's, it's just fun. It's a fun part of my routine. I look forward to it every game. Wow, I like, I, like, uh, I mean, Field of Dreams got me. You know, I really did. Uh, and obviously, Bull Durham's a classic. Um, so I think those are the two that uh, probably jump out. The best seat in the house is in the bleachers. The bleachers are um, such a unique 
animal in the world of sports. And I think it comes down to two words, general admission. When you walk into the bleachers, you don't know who you're gonna sit next to, who you're gonna meet. I met my wife in the bleachers. It is a unique social experience in all of baseball and um, one of the things that makes Wrigley so magical. I mean, this is like the, the, top of the top of the list. That's third base from the end of game seven in 2016 and the ball that uh, Chris Bryant threw to Anthony Rizzo, which then Rizzo gave to me at, uh, at, the, at the parade.